Welcome back. We're talking about how you not only have lost some weight, but you've also gotten faster in your competitions and are headed off to Worlds. So tell us about that. What are you going to be doing when you represent USA? Um, um, so he will, he qualified for, for Worlds in Texas this year. We went down in, I think it was March. And um, so he'll represent Team USA. A um, little bit different um, rules. The Usually when he competes on the national level, he <clears throat> races under USA BMX, and now he'll be racing under UCI, which is um, pretty big in the biking world. So it's pretty exciting. It's the first time in 15 years Worlds has come to the United States. Last year it was in Colombia, and the year before I think it was in Belgium. So, Do you need so a chaperone next year if it's going to be somewhere <laughs> out of the States? <laughs> Doc, speak to this. I think some parents at home might be going, you know, hey, he's a sixth grader. They might hear the word diet in their head. Talk about kind of your pediatric program for nutrition and health. Exactly. We work with a lot of children at the clinic. In fact, it's really important, and we're working to increase our outreach there to children because, as we know, we all work to help establish good habits in our children, whether it's work habits, uh, study habits. Again, nutritional habits are critical. And if they start and they learn at a young age, those are the habits they take with them throughout life. So now as they move forward, they know what things kind of this is how i put this together they learn how to make those choices whether they're eating at a friend's house whether they're at home whether they're at a cafeteria again on the road whatever situation they learn how to make these choices put them together such that they're healthier if they're if they're healthier to begin with as brock is he'll be able to stay healthier through the teen years through the early adult again you prevent the development of so many health issues that you would have maybe acquired along the way. And that's what we're seeing now is the problem with a lot of acquired issues uh, that have come along from folks not you know, getting bad information or just not being able to put it together because no one's ever worked with them and shown them. But when you take the same scientific approach that we do in medicine to helping work with patients, we see tremendous things. And we work with lots of children. We work with uh, middle <clears> age. <throat> we have patients in their 80s. So all through life, you can learn this, and it can improve your health and again, your quality of life. And so the goal here with kids, like you said, is they can pick this up and they learn. So what I want to know, Brock, is are you starting to influence some, some of your buddies? Like guys are grabbing Snickers and you're kind of going, uh-uh-uh, you know, drink this protein drink now or? No, I just don't really <laughs> kick it. Yeah, if they offer to. Yeah. He leads by example. You know, Brock, as you can tell, is pretty reserved. He doesn't say a lot. <clears throat> and uh, he's accomplished a whole lot for a young man and yet he, if you, to speak with him, he, he doesn't really talk about himself a whole lot. And uh, he just loves to ride, and he does such a great job and has fun doing it. So this has enhanced that for him, and uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful story from the standpoint of, uh, of what can happen when, and especially when the family gets involved and mm -hmm. everybody's on board, uh, you see just a transformation throughout the family. And, of course, yeah. that does spread to others because they, they, they talk to Candy and ask her when they're at events. They'll say, wow, Brock. These are parents, they notice this. They say, what is he doing? Man, he's so fast now and he's riding well. He looks great. And they realize he's faster and stronger. And it's, uh, it's all legal. It's through nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> That's good that it's all legal. Mm -hmm. Candy, you've got 30 seconds left. We'll give you the last word. Um, well, with that, it was kind of funny. When we, when we first started this program um, and Brock started getting on his bike more, um, I actually had parents wonder what changes we made to his bike. Mm -hmm. Like gear changes. Just Wait, what do you mean? Um, because like with BMX, you, you know, like you, um, but he was, he was performing that yeah, much better. Yes, so he was performing thought... that much better. They thought it, we were changing things on his bike initially. Wow. That's so. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> and that just shows you really the power of good mm -hmm. nutrition in terms of what that will do when you manage weight and the composition. <laughs> so you hold on to the muscle mass and shed the body fat, which is what we're all trying to do. To all three of you, thank you very much, Brock. Good luck, man. Thanks. Go take it to him, buddy. Yay! <laughs> All right, stay with us. Much more coming up right after this. Mm -hmm.